comes in time as the man appears, pulls down the blind, locks the door and leaves that world behind. This was in the music shop, everything comes to a stop. It's still enough to hear a fairy drop, and then the world comes to life. Grows quiet with a fine sigh. Promptly at the stroke of nine, the man appears, rolls up the blinds, stops the whole thing over one time, and then the world. A little touch on your nose. Ha ha. Now give me a smile. A smile, a broad smile. There, there. there. <laughs> and your cheeks. And we have it. There you are, <laughs> my dear friend. <laughs> oh, why don't we have some music so that we all can be happy and dance? <laughs> I'll play my phonograph. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The waltz. Of the elves. That's a very good one. All right, we give it a wind. And now, ah, eh, some, I can't hear. What is this? Oh, oh no. The birds must stop making nests in my horn. I must find another place for them to put their yarn. Oh, yes, look at this. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> you must be my very last customer because it is six o'clock and it's time to close my shop. Well, I'm not exactly a customer. You're not exactly a customer? Well, what exactly are you? Geppetto, could I? you a question? Well, yes, you could ask me a question if you wish. Ask me any question, any question at all. Do you think I have too much imagination? What kind of a question is that? Too much imagination? How could anybody have too much imagination? <laughs> well, I was in the park yes. and I heard somebody say, uh, I'm not saying who, that some people have too much imagination for their own good, if you ask me. Well, some people don't know what's good for them. That's what it is. Imagination is a wonderful thing. I know, but... but I'll tell it. you why. Now, look, look. You have nothing, right? Now, 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 that's where it all starts. It starts with nothing. All right. Then maybe you get an idea. Maybe, maybe it's just a notion. Now, already you've got something. Now you are 777 and one ninth percent ahead, and you have hardly even started. And then maybe you think about, about your idea and say, hey, that's not such a bad idea. Maybe it would work. Now you are 989 and one third percent closer. So then you try it out. It looks pretty good. Maybe, maybe you paint a clown, or you, or you make up a story, or, Whatever you want to do, and then, and then what do you have? You have something. That's what you have. And where did it come from? From your very own imagination. <laughs> your very own 100% imagination. That's where. I know, but how could you have too much of it? Well, look, look at it this way. Now, for instance, this way, then. Eh? Look, look. It makes you happy. Is that right? Yeah. Well, then, how could you have too much of that? 
I know, but 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 but, 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 but you listen to Geppetto, who knows more imagination than an old puppeteer. Hey, you'll see. <laughs> yes, you'll see. Ah, imagination is a wonderful thing. It fills up your life. Like me, Geppetto. Now, now, you see this shop here? This isn't much more than a shop. Why, it changes all the time. It fills up with wonderful, imaginative people and things to do. Why, this is just like uh, a circus. Yeah, it's just like a circus. Like, like the immortal Shakespeare once said, all the world's a circus and Geppetto is the ringmaster. He said that about you? Well, not exactly those words, but let, let, let me show you. I'm going to introduce you now to the most ferocious Bengal tiger in captivity. Yes, <clears throat> now watch this. The Bengal tiger. Ah, let's get him out. Bengal tiger, come out. Bengal, uh, Figaro, come out, Figaro. Uh, come, this way, this way. Uh, 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 uh. All right, round down. Down, down, up there, up, 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 good, good, good. Turn around, turn around, good, good, Bengal tiger. Now come down, come down, right here. No, oh, no, 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 stand back, stand back. Come on, roll over, roll over, roll over. <laughs> now back again, back again, back again, back again. Ah, good. Oh, good, 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 Bengal tiger. Good, good. Ah, oh, no, stand back, stand back. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> and now, <clears throat> uh, the Pierrot the Crown, the Magnificent. Uh, uh, <sighs> Ladies, uh, just one moment, please. Just one moment. I'll never understand these gadgets. Before, when they were just strings and wooden head, they could be worked on so easily. But now, I want.
You know, another way to feel your imagination working is to listen to somebody else express his own imagination. Well, for example, now, somebody could be telling a story or, um, or playing a trombone. <laughs> Love the sound of a good trombone. Well, that's a very good way to use your imagination, yes. And that is to listen to music. Now, I have an old phonograph over here. Whenever I want to listen to some music, maybe like uh, some opera by Verdi, Puccini, or maybe Peter and the Wolf, uh, I just have to crank it up. And... Uh, <laughs> Charles, hey, what do you think you're doing? Well, I was just... Winding you up. Wouldn't you be saying something if somebody came up and twisted your arm? What? Y yes, I guess I would. Sure you would. But nobody expects their furniture to have the same kinds of feelings. Even mm. furniture that talks. I see your point, yes. And, well, naturally, we phonographs are a very superior line of furniture. I see and hear a lot of what goes on around here, you know. I never realized that, no. Oh, yeah. Like what you've been talking about. Imagination. <laughs> Say, I've got a new record in that stack there. It's oh. a story all about imagination. Oh, a story? Sure. And, you know, you get a lot of things on LP albums these days. Uh -huh. it's, it's right in there. It hey, is. Get it out. Go on. That, uh, put it on. Uh, the, the, this one? Well, that's it. Just put it on. All right, it's yes. It's a story called Aladdin, 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 Aladdin's Lamp. Good. Well, I, I think I've heard that one. Oh, you're putting me on. Am I? <laughs> Get it? it? <laughs> you're putting me on. I... <laughs> oh, forget it. Humans don't have much of a sense of humor. Just hold a minute. Just one moment. <sighs> Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to, to squeak your nose there. Now, there. There we go. Go. Aladdin? Why, yes. My name is Aladdin. So, you are little Aladdin, huh? Let me introduce myself. I'm the brother of your dear departed father. Why, I'm your long-lost uncle boy, and I've brought something for you. Waha! And there's more where that came from. Where are we going? Up there. Huh? Run my magic? Help! Help! Let me out of here! <laughs> you are not going anywhere until you've done one little chore for me. See that hole over there? I want you to squeeze down it until you find an old oil lamp. Oil lamp? That's right. The hole's too small for me, so you'll have to fetch it for me. Understand? What do you want? With an old lamp? That is none of your business. Now get going. I'll use my magic and turn you into a doggy. Or maybe I should turn you into an ice cube and leave you out on the hot sands to melt into oblivion. Ah, 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 ah. Wow. 
This thing is really deep. <sighs> wow! promised to let me out of here. You must be kidding. I can't let you go now that you know about the treasure. Now give me the lamp right now. Ouch. 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 Oh, what a headache. I'll show that little brat. I'll fix him good. Oh, no. No, no, no. What am I going to do? I'll never get out of here. Huh? Ah! Ah! Your wish is my command. Oh, get me out of here! Ah! Get me out! I shall obey. Command. I order you to carry that princess away in her palace to a far distant land. I will obey. Oh! Oh! Huh? Yeah! Place this sleeping potion in the magician's drink. Yeah! 
Yes, Master. I want you to take that magician and send him so far away that he'll never find his way back. Now, <laughs> better be getting out of my chores. It's getting dark, you know. <laughs> okay, I'll come back again soon. Yes, you do that, Bambino. And don't ever let anybody tell you that you've got too much imagination because you've got just enough. Goodbye, Mr. Geppetto. <laughs> Goodbye and be careful. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what a lovely child. <laughs> Man appears, pulls down the blind, locks the door, and leaves that world behind. And then within the music shop, everything comes to a stop. It's still enough to hear a fairy drop. And then the world. Grows quiet with a final sigh. Rumbly at the stroke of nine, the man appears, rolls up the blinds, starts the whole thing over one time. And then the world, the world comes to life again. Sing and dance and play through the land. Every night at closing time, a man appears, pulls down the blind, locks the door, and leaves that world behind. And then the world.